This is my video for the Phoenix Two-Gun Action Challenge match held March 25th, 2023. On this stage, there is a target at 100 yards and a BCC zone target at 200 yards. The shooter has to get one hit on each while touching each tire. You could go kneeling or prone if you wanted to, but I don't think that is the most time efficient way to shoot this stage. The targets are large enough and I can shoot well enough that I decided to take them all offhand. I generally don't use my magnifier while shooting offhand stages like this because the magnification allows you to see the wobble in your sight picture and creates more hesitation in sending the shots. I do screw up from this forward position and have a lot more misses before getting the hit. It's the psychological factor of trying to rush the shots, getting frustrated. You see I have to recenter myself and then I make the hit. From this position, I'm back to a reasonable number of misses for the hits required. From this final tire, I've lost track of how many tires I needed to shoot from, and I'm done with the stage so quickly I think that there's more left. If I had to do anything different on this stage, I would have tightened my sling up a bit more for more support. On this stage, I am third armored and fourth overall. This is the kind of close range hoser stage that I don't really mind. All the targets are plainly visible. There's nothing to really memorize here. On the last target here, I'm going to drop the magazine after firing the second to last shot, then fire the last shot out so the 180 doesn't apply. Still getting used to the Beretta, you notice a little bit of hesitation there on the presentation finding the dot. I am 8th in armored and 12th overall on this stage. Stage begins with getting one hit on a circle target about 25 or 30 yards away. On this side of the range, the shooter has to knock down two plates, then run back over to the other side and take out one array on this triple plate rack. This process is going to repeat until all three arrays on the triple plate rack are knocked down. I do really appreciate how nice the trigger is on the Breda 92X performance, particularly when I start shooting these smaller targets. I am 5th in armored division and 11th overall on this stage. Stage begins with a single round loaded and a single high-value clay target. I do make the hit, but then I have to crawl through this tube and go over to the rifle engagement area off to the left here. I have my magnifier in place because these are all headshots surrounded by no shoots. The heads are so taped up it takes me a second to see them against the dirt berm backdrop. Any miss is plus 60 seconds. Any hit on a no shoot is plus 60 seconds which is why I proned out here and took my time to make the hits. Drop the mag, fire the last shot out on another high value clay target, and I successfully make that one as well. I now have to sling up the rifle and crawl over the tube. And my rifle flying around while it's slung on my back is one thing I seem to always have trouble with. You'll notice the rifle came unslung and spun around. Fortunately, the 180 does not apply because it has been shot empty. From here we have a standard iron cross drill with pistol with a single target all the way up against the berm. Getting a little bit better with my presentations with the Beretta finding the dot quicker. I am second armored and 11th overall on this stage. Shooting clean is what matters at two GACM and brutality matches with plus 60 second penalties. So shooting conservatively and not risking things is the way to go. In the end, I am first out of 30 shooters in armored division and second out of 78 shooters overall. If you like this kind of in-depth match analysis content, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you for watching. And remember, the Second Amendment is for everyone.